I'd like to share some thoughts with you on downsizing and purging. I've been in this process now for about three years and I keep going round and round my house and organizing and reorganizing and I've come to the conclusion that my wardrobe is massive. I'm talking about I could wear a different outfit every day of the year and probably not wear the same thing twice. It's a lot of clothes. So anyway, I've gone through the process of purging several times and what happens is I get bored with my wardrobe. So then I go out and I buy a few more new things. Now I'm not talking about high-end things or you know very expensive things but it still adds up. So today as I was looking through my clothes and I came across several things that were brand new that I'd never worn and I was really delighted by it because it's just in time for spring. They were spring sweaters with flowers on them and bright spring colors and I thought to myself this is probably something I'm going to do the rest of my life and can I really live with a wardrobe with 30 pieces, 40 pieces? And my conclusion was, no, I would be very bored wearing the same thing. Now, I'm not saying I don't wear the same things a lot. I do. But then, when I get bored, it's time to go shopping in my closet. And that's my plan. I plan to shop my closet. Now, I don't put my winter clothes away and get my spring clothes out or my summer clothes. I actually have several closets in my house. I live alone and each one of them is dedicated to different things in my wardrobe and that seems to work out pretty well for me. So anyway, my thought process was I spent money on all these things. They look like brand new. They're classic designs. So I'm going to keep most of them. I think I better concentrate my purging more on tchotchkes and knickknacks because you can only put out so many things and actually it's the cleaning that is taking its toll on my psyche. Having three dogs, three rescue dogs, let me tell you, there's no lack in the amount of dirt they produce. But I love them, and they have a home with me permanently, and they've become my foster family, and I wouldn't have it any other way. But the cleaning does make you a little crazy. So that's what I'm going to concentrate on, the cleaning. And there we go. One of my little munchkins is very noisy. She barks at a leaf blowing by. So, and then they all get going. But anyway, so I just wanted to talk about that a little bit and about not feeling guilty about keeping the things in your life that you're going to truly use and that brings you pleasure. And for me, it's dressing up in different outfits. I go out a lot. I, I do lunches with friends. My honey and I go out to dinner um, all summer long. We, we go and we have fun. So I use a lot of the things that I have in my closet. Do I use them all? No. But I've had a change of heart on the downsizing part of that. So I just wanted to share with you the thought of not feeling guilty about keeping certain things. Later on down the road, if you have a change of heart and it really does drive you crazy, you can always get rid of it. There's always a charity that wants it, a family member that could use it, but as long as it has a place in your home and it's organized and it's put away, 
I don't see anything wrong with keeping it. So those were my thoughts for the day, and hopefully um, you'll get a little bit of useful information out of my thoughts, and I'll see you on another video, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.